I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Crack SAT. Here are a few other questions based on quadratic relations which will give you good practice. They have been arranged in the order of difficulty. So we will begin with very simple questions. Calculator is not allowed for the first few and later we will have word problems where the calculator will be allowed. Question number one. If x plus y equals to 8 and x minus y is 7, what is the value of x squared minus y squared? Four choices are given to you. You can actually pause the video answer these questions. Question number 2. Find the product of the roots of the equation 2x squared equals to 50x. Let us see how to solve it. Now we are given x plus y and x minus y. We need to find what is x squared minus y squared. So from the three basic formulas of factoring, one of them, the most important, is difference of squares, which could be written as x plus y times x minus y, correct? We are given both x plus y is 8 and x minus y is 7, and therefore it is the product of these two, correct? So 8 times 7, 56 is your answer, option D, correct? Second, Find the product of roots for the equation 2x squared plus equals to 50x. Now, when you have equations like this, what you should not do is, should be shown here, right? So, let me first give you a solution which you should not do. So, some students might do this. So, when you are given like this, they might cancel one of these x values, right? and they may get x equals to 50 divided by 2 or x equals to 25 and they may write 25 as their answer but that will be a wrong answer correct reason well you omitted one of the roots which was x equals to 0 so a better solution will be think like this 2x squared minus 50x equals to 0 when you cancel, you are cancelling one of the answers. So now you take 2x common. So you get x minus 25 equals to 0. So x equals to 0 and x equals to 25. This quadratic equation has two roots. Product means you have to multiply 0 with 25. Anything times 0 is 0. And therefore, it is option A. Perfect. So, so I hope this concept is clear. So this is a tricky question, very simple to answer, but you can make a mistake. The third question here is, find the perimeter of the rectangle if its length is three more than the width and its area is 54. So if you consider a rectangle with length three more than the width, so let width be w, length is going to be w plus 3 we are given area of 54 now the equation definitely becomes w times w plus 3 equals to 54 so what you see here is that product of two numbers is 54 so the key to understand here is we are looking for two numbers so so the key or strategy is product of two numbers is 54. So what comes to your mind? So if you look into the numbers 9 times 6, you know 9 times 6 is 54, right? So that becomes the right choice since one of these numbers is 3 more than the other. So straight away you get your answer as length should be 9 and this side should be 6. Of course, there are other solutions. For example, 27 times 2 is also 54. However, here we do not have plus 3 ratio. So this is not correct, right? but this is correct for us. So by trial and error, you can actually get the solution much faster than by solving a quadratic equation perfect so once you know this now you know what is the perimeter perimeter is twice 9 plus 6 
which is 2 times 15 or 30. So the answer 30 is the right option. So that is the strategy which you could adopt in solving many quadratic relations, multiple choice questions, correct? Now let's look into another similar case. This is for you to practice. The area of a triangle is 27 meters square. Find the base if the height is 3 less than twice the base, right? So, so we know area is equals to half base times height, correct? So what we are given here is area is 27. Find the base if the height is 3 less than twice the base. So base is B, which we need to find. And height is 3 less than twice B. So 2B minus 3. That gives you the equation, right? So you could actually cross multiply. You get 54 equals to B times 2B minus 3. Right? So that becomes the relation to find the answer. Now, you could again, it is very similar question to what we did last time, correct? So you could do trial and error as we did last time. That is to say, we have 54. So you could factor 54 as we see nine times six. Nine and six doesn't work for us since one number. The other is two times B. Now, it may work, right? So if I use b as equal to 6, so what is 2b equals to? Means 12 and 12 minus 3 is equal to 9. So that works. Do you see that? So if I take b as 6 and then this number could be 6 times 2, 12, 12 minus 3 is 9. So it works. So b equals to 6 works for us and 6 is also one of the options. So when you factor, you do get a number which is in the option. The other number is also within the options, correct? So you can just work out with the numbers. So the idea here is do not solve, right? Do not solve the quadratic equation. That may take a lot of time, right? That is time consuming, right? Takes time. Try the answer. So in this question, what we could try out is 54, right? So it could be 9 and 6. Well, we have other options also. For example, again, I'll write 27 and 2 as one of the options. And it could also go by 3, right? So if I could have a value which is 3 and 3 times, 3 times 1 and 24 is 8, 3 and 18. So those are the other values to try. Since they are not in your choices, so, so the best option left for you is to work further with these two numbers. So I hope that gives you a fairly good idea about how to solve quadratic relation related questions in SAT. So if calculator is not allowed, and this is in the first part around question number 18 to 20, these are better ways of solving such questions. I hope that makes sense, right? Now let's take some more word problems, which could be a bit more tricky, right? Now here we have members of a hiking club raise a total of $60 when two members drop out of the hiking hike, their money was refunded. The remaining members going on the hike then had to pitch in one dollar each to make up the differences. How many members went on the hike? So when they want us to find how many members went on the hike, so uh, let's say uh, members went on the hike as H, right? But initially, Members of the hiking club raised total, so all the members raised $60. So initially, let us say capital H is the number of members who raised $60. Correct? Now this 
lowercase h is h minus 2 since 2 were dropped out and their money was returned. So if they are equally contributing then each person contributes 60 over h right so two persons will contribute how much two persons will contribute two times 60 over h right that is 120 over h so that is the contribution now this contribution has been compensated by one dollar paid by lowercase h right so which is capital h minus 2 so that should be equal to h minus 2 that is what we are trying to figure out correct so once you have this equation then it becomes very easy to find the answer correct so you could rewrite this as as you can write this now as h times h minus 2 equals to 120 correct so product of two numbers a bigger and a smaller is equal to and that is the number which we are interested in finding this is our answer small h do you understand now what two numbers could give you 120 well of course 2 and 12 could give you 120 right so when you multiply these two numbers you do get 120 perfect so our people number of people who went for hiking was too less so the option should be a so we get option a as the right answer perfect so so that is how we actually get our strategy to answer the question without fully solving i hope that makes sense right you could check your solution that if there are 12 people going they contribute 10 dollars each you get 120 two left so twenty dollars have been have to be compensated so that is how we i mean how uh, ten dollars have to be compensated right two left so in that case we know each person contributed one so so those ten dollars came from those persons correct correct since we know 60 over 12 is 5, correct? So $10 were compensated. Everybody com contributed $5. So I hope you're getting the concept. So the idea here is that when you have the questions in SAT, multiple choice questions, try to get your equation so that you can make an educated guess and then try out the values. So I hope that helps, right? We'll take up some more questions and then practice for solving any question related to quadratic equation or relations in SAT. I hope that helps.